Alright guys, uh, three videos in a row, let's keep going. Um, so for those of you who caught the massive Facebook Live, actually it was just me talking to the Power Wash store event, um, on Saturday, um, I said it was going to be about Facebook and YouTube, um, and I completely dropped the ball on talking about YouTube, and I, I get that everybody's more focused on Facebook, but here's why you need to care about YouTube. When you go out and do a house wash in City X, right? Hey, everybody, this is, you know, Rob Anderson. We're out power washing in such and such city. Uh, we're cleaning this house, doing yada, 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 showing you didn't work. You post that video. And you name it, power washing or house washing, or you can even just say house washing in blah, 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 city, soft washing, whatever, and then put also in your description, have more information about where you were, what you were doing, etc. Make sure that you have your website on there and any other relevant, you know, your website, your Facebook page, your phone number, your email, all that kind of stuff. And you make that for all the different cities and stuff that you're in. So you do a job in, you know, for us, for me, it would be, hey, everybody, we're here in Salisbury. Uh, power washing Salisbury, Maryland. Uh, roof cleaning Salisbury, Maryland. Uh, roof cleaning Delmar. Uh, house wash Delmar. House wash Fruitland. Uh, house washing in Ocean City. Uh, because you get those videos out there. And again, the more videos, the more content, the more that YouTube wants to you know, push your, your content. Just, just like Facebook. You know, the more content that you've got out there, the more likely it's going to want to have people, you know, paying attention to that. Um, the, all those videos are out there forever. So when somebody goes on to Google and searches house washing Salisbury, Maryland, or house wash whatever city or area that they're in, and it, especially when you make some of these videos too, you can put even the, you know, the neighborhood too, because that, that'll be a nice little boost there as well. It just makes it show more locally. Um, is that these videos are going to show up in the search results. It also helps to boost your SEO because it says, hey look, here's all these videos, all these different things that are all pointing back to you or to me, wherever we're pointing. Who has two thumbs and likes Facebook um, this guy <laughs> but so that that's how that contents out there and it guys it's not something that um, I haven't heard people say they're killing it on YouTube but considering that the only cost for YouTube is my time um, and my knowledge um, it's pretty good ROI um, I've my three or four thousand dollars from videos that we've made on YouTube uh, from jobs and I've, I've honestly I've had probably another three or four thousand dollars worth in calls that I've had to give to other friends uh, to take care of so it's you know it, it's nice to be able to have that content out there it's also another thing when somebody decides to research your company so if you've got that channel and you know YouTube so they, they go out and they're searching for a clean power wash. YouTube comes up. And obviously my content versus what a customer is looking for, there's going to be two different channels. So there, there's their actual clean power wash for the customer and clean power wash for contractors. Which, you know, depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be as clear, but there's different playlists and stuff too uh, that will have like basically us doing work and just, you know, we're, we're, them even seeing us teaching on people. Or teaching people that are the way that I'm doing a lot of these we're explaining the process and what we're doing that stuff is another way for that customer to do research on you to check you out to say oh, yeah this this guy does seem like he knows what he's talking about which is what we're doing on Facebook and what I was talking about in that class but again the YouTube stuff is out there and it, it does it's amazing the familiarity the confidence that somebody's gonna have from seeing one of your videos Obviously, make sure that what you're doing in those videos, you're using proper techniques. Uh, you know, some of the things that we do aren't perfect. I get that, and I, I wholly admit that. And, um, you know, it just it is what it is. 
so anyways guys make YouTube videos make Facebook videos most of what you put on your Facebook videos it is capable of going onto YouTube I would not overdo it um, certainly you don't want to you don't need 300 house washing videos on your YouTube channel you'd be better off probably having somewhere in the 10 to 50 range early on um, you know and as you do more unique things I'm still haven't finished putting the um, oxidation removal one up there so we'll have a, a, a better oxidation video than the one that we already have that's got I want to say 1200 to 1500 views maybe it's more than that uh, so again when somebody searches those special terms and that's where too the niche work so like rust removal we've got a lot more views on that um, and you can even title it removing rust from siding and then in Salisbury Maryland you know it, it, there's a lot of other stuff and do your research too there's more things to naming these videos and whatnot on Facebook um, or on, you, sorry, on YouTube you name the file like if you look, most of my file names have, it's the date, and then it's clean power wash hyphen, roughly what I'm talking about. Um, that hopefully is, you know, is looked at, Google looks at that, the name of that file, and can kind of already go ahead and tell part of what it's about. Then you have the title, then you also have the body of it. So, um, yeah. So anyways, guys, have a great day. Uh, make videos, make content, get customers.